Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this, if this is your first time here, uh, I want to say welcome. And hopefully you saw the first video of wiring. Uh, this is going to be the second part to it. So that'll be fun. Let's hit it. Okay, moving on to the next step. It will be install the miscellaneous wires here. Uh, it gives you an illustration of what they are. It's a bunch of them. This is where it gets a little, kind of not confusing, but kind of intimidating. So I install that one. And then this will be for the rear tail lights, left and right. They're both the same size. So it takes one grommet each and it takes these grommets here, the ones that are uh, kind of solid. So you just have to cut a slip to slip these through. So what I'll do is I'll install the wire first and then I'll slip on the grommet, then install the grommet. Okay, so I'm gonna feed uh, this harness through in first. It's kind of crazy. They don't have a grommet for this hole here. And I guess because the wire is almost the same size as that hole, but not really. And so I don't know if I mentioned this before, but usually I put silicone in places like this. But Volkswagen doesn't have a grommet in here. If they do, let me know in the comments. But uh, all the years I've been working on these cars, I've never seen one for this. So enough talking. I'm going to put these in. First, I'm gonna put it in, because this is the smallest hole. So you gotta put in these connectors one at a time, because the hole is small. You can see, I mean, it's not much room there for a grommet. I'm gonna let that hang like that. I have to get underneath the actual fender here and feed it through the other hole. I'm going to install the grommet um, with the small side uh, facing the engine bay, the larger side, going towards the fender itself. So I'm going to install this here first. Again, it's just a slit, so it's kind of a little difficult to put these connectors through. So that's what we're looking at right now. I'm going to install this. And what's next, we have to connect to this, this row of connectors here. There's a certain way of doing it. All right, grommet is installed. Let's start hooking up the wires. So now uh, this black wire gets connected to the red and black. Go by the schematic right now. And now the red wire goes on to the white and black. And the last one is the white wire, and it goes to the gray and black. Okay, those guys are in. Okay, let me stop for a second. I'm going to further explain this. You're probably thinking, why is this kind of like screwed up? It doesn't match the schematic. So, um, in reality, you don't have to put these in the order of the schematic. Uh, it's just a guide. Um, I didn't do that. However, it is important to match the colors according to what the schematic has. That's that side. Then we have to do, let's do the right side, which will be the passenger side. Okay, grommet is installed there. And then we're gonna run the wire along the back of the firewall. Okay, you see this clip here? Um, some cars may have it, some cars may not. It's not a big deal if you don't have it, but I'm gonna run the wire this way, hold it in there. I'll push on it just a little bit to hold it in place. Then this will go across, continue on. So, see how it's split, it's split right here. We'll leave that alone, just gonna let it hang. And now, if I can get you guys to see it, Oh yeah, sorry about the shakiness. Now we can hook up the rest of these here. And it fits pretty good, it fits pretty good, so. I'm ready to connect this. So the red wire goes to the black and green that you see here. 
And then black gets connected to the red and black. And then the white gets connected to the gray and black, which is the individual here. It doesn't matter which side you put it in. That's connected. Oh, before I forget, I know you're probably wondering why you have an extra space here. This is for your license plate light. So might as well put that in. Let's go put that in later, but I'll put it in now. There we go. That's installed. Next, we're gonna go to this wire here. It's for like the headlight switch. Okay, the wire looks like this. So you have to jump to the front, install it. So now we're at the front. This goes, this part here goes to the fuel gauge. And this is to illuminate uh, the fuel gauge at night. Just be sure that you change this bulb out if you're going to 12 volt. That's attached. And then the other side, um, the length is different. So one goes to the actual um, headlight switch and the other one goes to the speedo or the speedometer light. So I'm pushing it over here. So I need to put you down for a second. I'm gonna grab the uh, headlight switch. And on the picture, it says 58B. So let's look at the headlight switch here. 58B, see if we can find 58B. Right there, all the way to the right. So we need to hook that up. It's funny, it's like a smaller connector there. Okay, I hooked it up. Even though it's smaller, it'll still fit on there. It'll stay. Next we have is the, it's like the black and green. We need to hook that up. And it's like a dual here, and it's got a long cord. It goes through the right front blinker. We have this, we're gonna connect it to VR on the flasher. And it's this short guy on this end is connected to here. It's second from the left over. Okay. You have this guy hanging out. Okay, so we plugged into VR here, as we mentioned before. And now this guy, who is a double, gets plugged into, you see this here is the clear. It's plugged in, it doesn't matter either side. I'm gonna plug that in. They're like so. And this end uh, gets plugged into your um, the turn signal switch, which is laying right over here. So you would have to find the green and black um, for this to be plugged in, this guy here. So we can do that now. I'm gonna plug this in. Again, this is my black and uh, green wire that's hooked up to my switch. The rest of these wires hooked up to the switch as well. We'll get to those later. So we have a long wire here. It's really long. It goes to the turn signal on the right hand side. But for now, I'm just gonna lay it in that direction. I'm not gonna route it just yet. And then we're gonna move on to the next wire. Okay, the next wire we're gonna go to after the black and green, it will be the black and white. Same thing, this will be for the left-hand side of the car. Uh, this will be for your blinkers. Um, so again, this is for the driver's side. And it looks like this. Um, again, I mentioned earlier, these are not uh, striped like it is on the picture, but it's how they look. So we're gonna install this one. Okay, like we did before with the black and green, except this is gonna go to the VL. And I think the VL and VR, like VR I think is for the right, for the R and VL is meant for the left, but VL is here. So I'm gonna stick this. You see this here? You're gonna take the short part of this and stick that on. VL, like so. And then you also have the same thing, like we said before, um, this Y connector here. It doesn't matter where you put it in, as long as you connect it. And this long wire goes to the signal light in the front, but we need to connect this to the signal switch, which is right here. It leads from the signal switch, so you have to look for the black and white. And here it is, 
black and white, you can see it. I'm gonna connect that. Like so. And this we're gonna leave off to the side here. We're not gonna push those through the rubber loom yet. So the next wire will be going to the starter post and the voltage regulator on B. And you see one side, the eye is bigger than the other side. So you wanna take note of that. Uh, the larger eye goes to the starter post on the starter, and the smaller eye goes to the voltage regulator, which says B plus on the voltage regulator. So since I don't have the engine in the car, I'll show you that in the picture here. So the one wire goes to the starter here, and then the other wire goes to the voltage regulator that's here. Okay, so we won't be installing that just now. At least I won't be, but you guys can as you follow along. All right, uh, wiper motor, that'll be the next one. Um, I'm just going down the list here. Uh, you can go by the directions. Directions have you jump around uh, this diagram and the picture, but I just wanna try to make it easy to go straight down. So uh, wiper motor, Switch, it's gonna be 54B. So let's grab that wire. Okay, so we have the black and red wire here. And we're gonna hook up to the switch here. And this goes to, let's see, it's 54D is in dog. It's kind of hard to see on here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. These are kind of faint, so. 54 D's down here. So I'm gonna hook up to that, just like that. Sorry for the bounciness, but this is 24, oh, I'm sorry, 54 D here. You don't read the numbers up here. It's these guys here. So 54 D has in dog, and that's funny because on the actual literature, it says 54 B and 54 B is not, on this either. So just be cautious of that. Uh, it's just a misspelling. It goes to 54D right there. So kind of com not confusing, but just hokey. Put this into 54D, just like that. Okay, on to the next wire. Next wire will be this uh, brown wire here to ground. It's 255 millimeters long it's this guy here it goes to 31b on the wiper switch so this brown wire here is going to go to 31b on the switch it's kind of hard to see kind of faint but this is 31b that's what it says and this part goes into the wiper 31b we're gonna hook up the brown wire 31B. Okay, she's in. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, the next one will be the wiper motor switch to 54. And it's a black wire and it's a heavier gauge. Just keep that in mind. Uh, again, measure it just to be sure. And it's 216 millimeters long. So we're gonna install that. So you can see it or not, it's hard to see it, but 54 is right here. You already have a wire hooked up to the 54 earlier from the dome light harness. So it's just another spade here or connector here. So that's what we're gonna add. And we just need to hook this up to the axle wiper. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. It's the very last one, 54, it's right there. Let me install that. Sorry for the shakiness, but it's a tight spot. All right, we're totally in. So in reality, the whole switch, whole wiper switch is connected. So we're in good shape there. I'm not gonna install it yet, but we will. All right, on to the next wire. This one goes to the flasher, goes to B1, and it's for the green hour on the speedometer. Green and blue wire says it goes to the B1 on the green hour. However, this flasher doesn't have a B1 on it. It has a 54F, so 
Right now, it's, it's just a bulb that's gonna be flashing, so it's really not gonna hurt anything. If it's positive, it'll flash the bulb. If it's negative, it's not gonna do anything. So right now, we're gonna plug it into the 54F. You can see it here. Um, and that's the second row. Plug that in. And right now, we don't have a, uh, a speedometer. So this plugs into your speedometer here. And that's just for your um, for your light, turning light bulb. Okay, I talked about this horn button. I already installed this when I installed the steering column. So all it is, it's a wire that goes through. It has a little bit of insulation. Then it goes all the way up to the horn. Um, on the other side, I can show you that. So, I'm getting away. The wire's out of the way. You can see it coming out of here, the steering wheel column. It's going right to the steering coupler. So that's for your horn. That way you have some kind of ground. And this wire runs all the way through because this column is hollow on the inside. Goes all the way through. Comes out here and there's no connector on it. It just gets uh, put in place here and you screw this down to make it tight. And that makes a ground. So when you press this, this actually grounds out the horn and starts the beep. So that's what that one's for. Okay, we're still doing miscellaneous wiring. Lots of fun. Everybody. Yay. I know it's tedious, but you can get through it. I'm taking you step by step. I'm here with you. Uh, 425 millimeter, but this has like a Y on the end of it. So... Where that goes, I can show you where it goes. I think it goes on the choke and ignition coil. And the idle cutoff jet, if you have one. Um, some cars don't have it, like the 66. I don't think it had it. Mine didn't have it. When I had the 12, or I'm sorry, the 1300cc engine, it didn't have the cutoff. Um, I wish it did, because it kind of like diesel a little bit. Anyway, enough with the rant. So that's where that goes. Again, I don't have my engine in the car yet. Okay, next wire. It's 250 millimeters. It's for the headlight switch to the fuse box. It's marked red. Okay, so let's find the headlight switch. And it's been sitting here the whole time. And this goes to 30. And we already had one that's a 30 right here. So there's another area. We can put it on here, like that, to the headlight switch. And then this part goes to the fuse block. I'm gonna put it to the back one, like so. So that's connected. Very good. Awesome. Again, we're just gonna leave these lay. We'll organize this later. You'll see why. Okay, next will be this high beam warning light here, and that's 200 millimeters long, and it looks like this. So that gets connected to your diffuse block, and I can show you where that goes. So on the fuse block, it goes here, on the bottom here. It goes there. And then this part goes to the actual um, speedometer for the high beam. So that's what that connects to. And it seems weird that this is kind of short. Okay. Next up is the gray wire here. That's 255 millimeters long. And it goes to the headlight switch, which is number 58. And then it goes to the fuse block. I'll show you where that goes. 58. Is on the end right here. So 58 gets plugged in like so. And then this goes to the fuse block, which will be over here on this guy here. Right in place, no problems. Okay, next one up is this little guy here, 150 millimeters. 
long. Remember the gauge, I talked about it earlier. Number 30 goes to the switch and this goes to the fuse block. So uh, I'll show you where that goes. There's number 30. So we want to hook up this little guy, the 30. He's on. And then he needs to hook up to the fuse block, which is right here. So we're gonna put him right there. That looks good. So he's on there now. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next one's going on at number 15. You see it right there? 15. So this wire, which is a thicker gauge wire, goes on the number 15. It's all about amperage. Okay, that's on there. And then this part goes into your fuse block. And it goes all the way over here. Kind of a stretch, huh? Put him in. And then this little guy goes to the warning on your, speed, uh, on your speedometer. Now, we're almost to the end here. So we have a yellow guy, all right? So let me grab him. Okay, the yellow guy is 170 millimeters long. It's the only yellow one left. So it'll be this guy here, and he goes to the headlight relay to the fuse box. Um, and I'll show you where that goes. The headlight relay, I'm gonna have to grab that too. Gee whiz, I'm not even prepared. I'm not grabbing stuff. All right, since so I'm going to 12 volt here, your six volt may look a little different than this, but it's gonna hook up the same. So it's saying hook up to uh, da -da 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 -da, 56B, and there's a 56B on the end there. I don't know if you can see, it's hard to see with the glare, and the numbers are small. 56B, we're hooking up to that, like that. Just hanging out, and then we're gonna hook this up to the fuse block, which will go, let's see, I'm gonna get this right. So go right here on the end. Not on the end, but right here. That's where that goes. And this gets mounted up here. No big deal. Okay. Now we have another headlight relay um, wire. It's white. Let me grab that. Another headlight uh, relay wire goes to 56A. It looks like this. These are thick gauge. 56A, it's kind of hard to see, but it goes right here. These are starting to get tight, tighter and tighter. All right, and that goes to the fuse block too. So it will go to this one on the end. If you guys can see that, it goes right here. It gets connected. Again, this, thing, this guy hangs out up here. And now we have a ground wire. So the ground wire here goes from the flash relay to the number S on the flash relay. And it's for the emergency flash switch. So that's what that goes to. So it might be a little tight, but it looks like this guy here. Not too long, 220 millimeters long. So if you look at the flash, the S is right here. So it's the very top. So it goes here, like that. And there is a flasher, an emergency flasher. And this guy here it comes on the 66. It's the first, I think it's the first year I've seen the emergency flasher on the 66. As you can see here, and I don't have the, the connector or the knob that goes on here which has the light that shows it flashing. But um, this gets connected to the S, and there's an S on here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. These things are faint because they're old, but they still work. So that goes there. Okay. And I think this is like the last wire. It's the headlight switch to the 56. And then this goes to the 56, 
This goes to the 30, to the relay. So let me grab that wire. Okay, she looks like this. This is the last remaining wire. Um, I don't think I missed any. I'll go through it again just to make sure. And I'll tag it on the end of the video, but um, this is part two of the video actually. So let's, let's, cook, let's hook this up. So headlight switch 56. So we know this is the headlight switch. And 56, man, it's hard for me to show you guys. 56, 56 is like right in the middle of there. So this part here that has the red dangling gets connected to the actual headlight relay. And that'll be uh, 56 here. And again, it's hard to show you on this. 56 is at the very top here. And then this little red wire jumps over to the 30 which is this guy right here. Plug him in. And this guy goes to the headlight switch, which will be 56. Okay, this is installed into the 56. So we're good to go. That's the remainder of the wires. Um, we'll sort all this stuff out on the next video. Uh, make sure we captured everything. If I have to, I'll review it again. But again, now, uh, Stay tuned for part three, and uh, that'll be cleaning this up, uh, adding some components and other things. But uh, again, guys, uh, let me know how I'm doing. Leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Have a good day.